hey guys so i'm gonna vlog this week this is week two of block four under the umbrella of this um i don't even know what the umbrella is called but i'm on my last block and this is the block before thanks giving break and i am so excited because i feel like i've been going on and on for like the last three months with no like substantial break so i'm super excited to begin thanksgiving and i need to see if we have the whole week off or if we just have thanksgiving day and black friday off i am like going really hard on this last block i want to do really well and i i'm gonna do well i i've been doing well in school i'm like this little home stretch and then we're done with biochemistry and all these other classes that have been painting my soul. Maybe my life is boring, but I don't have anything really eventful planned for this week, but I'm gonna just take you guys along on the journey with me. It is Sunday, it is two days before the election results come out. I already voted, and every time I try to check my ballot, it says like error, so I have to like call them and actually figure out what's going on. I feel like it might be like something, like they're not recognizing my address or whatever, because I live like, I have an apartment number or whatever, but if you haven't voted, well, by the time you see this, it would have been too late. So, I hope you voted, but apart from the election, I don't think anything else exciting is happening. But today, I just finished filming a video for my Get Ready With Me's because you guys really love those as compared to all my other videos for some odd reason. Maybe it's because I just be like... When I talk, I probably just sound like your homegirl. I just finished filming that video. That's why I have makeup on, even though I'm not going anywhere and I'm about to study. I have about eight hours ahead of me. It is currently, ooh, I'm a hour behind schedule. It is currently one o'clock. I was hoping to start at 12 so I can finish at eight. It's okay. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna study. I have to like review some Anki cards, review some lectures then watch tomorrow's lectures because y'all know I like to be a day ahead. That's really all I have planned for today. So I'm just going to be studying for the next couple of hours. Good morning my beautiful people. It is week three of block four and I am done with microbiology and biochem after this. You notice I said week three and my last video was my last like footage was week two. I just didn't vlog because I was in the zone. So I'm feeling pretty good. Today's Veterans Day, so there's no school. Do, 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 do. And I've been doing so well about studying that I only had to do my Anki cards today. So I'm taking the rest of the day off and I'm just like, wow, like, I just cannot believe it. So I'm taking the rest of the day off. I have to clean my room because it is a hot mess. I feel like because I'm always locked up in my room and in my house studying stuff, whenever I have like free time during the day, it feels so unusual to me. So I feel the need to like go out and go somewhere because I'm just like, this is what it feels like to have free time during the day. I'm kind of excited. I don't know how long I'm going to make this vlog, but I have some a couple exciting things happening. Me and my roommate are going to try to host the sip and paint night after the exam on Monday. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if anyone's going to show up. And then I have a meeting with my cla my black classmates today because we're trying to figure out roles for SNMA um, because the second years are handing off the leadership. And for those who don't know, SNMA is basically like, it's like the MAPS or like the Black Student Union kind of, of med school. You know, that's like, that's the way I see it. That's the best way to ex explain it. Thanksgiving is around the corner. I think I previously said that like, I had Thanksgiving break after this block. I lied. I checked the schedule and we start like the musculoskeletal system before Thanksgiving. So I'm kind of afraid of that new like system because we're going into systems now we finished with like the basic science and the foundational science so we're going into systems now i'm kind of afraid because we're starting anatomy and i'm just like i don't know what's going on so we'll see but lately i've been thinking i think i'm gonna change my specialty for those if y'all know what specialty i've been like gung-ho about since high school you know comment below and only real poos would know what specialty that is but i think i'm gonna change my specialty we'll see we'll see you know i've always said i'm keeping my options open so we'll see i have a lot to do this week i also have to look for, look for scholarships too because living on loans is not cute it's really not cute it's not a look on me and i deserve better so i'm also going to be looking for scholarships as well but yeah i'm going to take you guys through my day after i clean my room and then yeah we'll see we'll see i'm in good spirits because i'm feeling really good about this exam compared to last exam which i did okay i like i didn't do bad i did okay i just didn't do as well as i usually do and as well as i expect myself to do but we got it all the way together, this block, and 
we're coming for an A. Ooh, my lips are chapped. I am so sorry, you guys, but I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am basically done cleaning my room. I'm so proud of myself. I took a shower and I'm gonna do some light makeup because I have some errands to run. Let me show you guys. I wrote them all on a paper plate so I don't forget. So I'm basically gonna clean out my car, you know, just kind of like reset. I have to buy disinfectant wipes, which has been so hard to find. But let me get my makeup done and I will see you guys soon. Okay, hey guys, so I'm gonna head out now. I'm done with my makeup. Your girl look fire. Like, y'all look at this, wow. I look cute. So I'm gonna head out, clear my car, run on the errands. And I forgot I have a meeting at five, so it is two. I need to be back by 4 30 so i'm gonna try to run my errands as quickly as possible we'll see how that goes okay guys so i basically cleared out my car i cleared out there was a whole bunch of stuff here i had a whole bunch of stuff on the floor the only thing left is an umbrella which i like to keep in my car in case it rains those are scrubs i have to return to the hospital so i can get new ones because i'm going to be in the or soon so i have to switch those out here is like the trash and i have boxes in here the only thing I have in my back seat now is a box full of stuff that I've been meaning to send to my sister. I wanted to send her a care package and it's been sitting in my car for like two weeks. So I think the post office is closed today, but I really have to send that off sooner rather than later. And then I think my trunk is clean. I think we'll find out. Okay, so I have two water balls in here, which I'm gonna have to take into the house. When I come back home, I'm probably gonna take the water bottles into the house. The reason I didn't take it into the house was because we have like a cart in our apartment and when I went downstairs to get it, it wasn't there when I bought the water. So I was like, these waters are gonna stay in my car. I'm either gonna go see if the cart's there now or I'm just gonna carry them one by one, which I guess I should carry them because the distance from my car to my place is really not that bad. Hey guys, so I was headed to Target, but then across the street, I saw this like nice area with the lake, and I was like, ooh, I should try to come and take some pictures here. So I came, took some pictures. They're not that great. I wish I had someone else. I really need to hire like a follow me photographer, honestly, but. Yeah, I just want to show you guys the scenery. It looks so nice. Good morning, beautiful people. I forgot to finish vlogging yesterday, but oh well. I came back home from Target. I remember I wanted to wash my car, but I couldn't because it started raining. Um, I want to wash my car today, but with the way outside is looking, it looks like it might rain today again, so I'm not sure. But basically, after I came home yesterday, I just cooked some food, and then I had a meeting. I woke up at 8, and then I was feeling a little lazy. I was supposed to sell my Anki cards at 8, but I was, you know, feeling a little lazy, so I stayed in bed until 8.30, and then since then, I've been doing my Anki cards, and I have about maybe 100 more cards to do. I'm trying to do that before I head off to PBL today. So I'm gonna go to PBL and that should be interesting. And basically I really just need to plan out my weekend, how I'm gonna study and what I'm gonna do. And it's kinda of hard cause I feel like I've exhausted most of the resources. I think for me it's kinda of hard because we don't really get a lot of resources. Like we don't really get practice exams or anything like that. So I basically am just gonna be redoing quizzes that I've been doing throughout the week, uh, doing my Anki cards and then probably using a question bank for at least uh, the viruses and stuff like that but we'll see um but yeah so that's really what i'm all gonna do today not really exciting anything happening but that's my day oh i do have small group in like 15 minutes for biochem which is gonna be a whole hot mess because i feel like biochem small groups are all they just be going over complex stuff and i'm just like this was not talked about in lecture but go off sis so we'll see how that goes Broad question, exclamation mark. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's too easy for it to be the answer, but... That's what I was thinking. I was like... I think it is, just that. I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something, but right. I really can't get any more basic things. Um, like, what's the catch? We have a lot of ammonia. Oh. We're getting called back. 
Okay. Does anyone want to be the speaker? I can go ahead and do it. Thank you, Sean. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So we had um, our answer was acetyl CoA is needed to make um, NAG, and if you can, and if we need, and we need that to activate CPS one. So if like you're not producing acetyl CoA, you can't um, make the product needed for the activator of CPS. That's right. That's right. They, they... Y'all, I just got the PPL and we all got microphones. Look at this. Julia, have you tried yours yet? Hello? <laughs> Test it out. In which case are we working Testing. on? Oh. This is fancy. <laughs> Ooh. No, I think we're doing Jameson. Yeah, have you tested yours yet? Nah, not, not yet. Go ahead. This is crazy. Peter I'm about to do mine. Hold on. This is great. This is actually, this is like a highlight. I just came in for PBL and I feel like, hold on. God, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do you guys use this? Testing, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh. Can you hear me now, Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, this is fancy. Yes. This is this is a whole vibe, y'all. Now, do other senior faculty have trouble hearing each of you? Okay, guys, I am home now. PBO was so interesting today. Our facilitator sometimes doesn't like hear us. I don't know if it's through the mask or whatever. So today. He bought us all like handheld microphones so we've been testing that out and used that all day today during PBL and it was funny because no one expected it and he said we could keep them so it was super sweet but that was interesting I had to go to the post office as well because I wanted to ship something to my sister I have a package downstairs and I'm contemplating not picking it up until tomorrow because I have another package coming tomorrow. So I'd rather just pick them both up at the same time. And I'm not too worried because they're in like these little Amazon hub lockers. So I can get them tomorrow. So I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to cook right now. And there's office hours tonight and I want to do a little bit of studying. So I've never felt this like at peace about an exam which I'm very highly suspicious of and I feel like I've ran out of things to do but I'm gonna find something even if it's just like one two hours of work tonight just to keep my brain going and then we basically all day tomorrow have active review sessions so we'll see and usually the review sessions is when I can tell if there's some things I forgot to study or that they're emphasizing that I didn't know that they wanted us to know so we'll see, but I'm gonna cook and then I'm probably gonna call it a night after studying for two hours. Hello beautiful people, it is Friday. That means it's review session day. Uh, I currently have biochem on, it's the last review session I have. And then I have my OSCE exam later today. So I actually will have to go to school, look professional, look nice. I don't have my white coat because it's getting embroidered right now. So I'm gonna have to go to campus interview some patients for my OSCE exam bada boom bada bing come back home and really sit down and make a study plan after going through virology and microbiology I'm like mm, you know I have a little bit of work that I'm gonna have to do and review so I'm gonna make a plan for that I think off the top of my head I think what I want to do is spend most of Saturday on microbiology biology and all that kind of stuff and then Sunday I'll spend half a day on immunology half a day on biochemistry because I'm feeling a bit better about those concepts than I am about this but yeah I picked up a package from my mail room and it is my candles from Aussie Jackie so I'm super excited for them I actually love these candles the, other, the rest of her candles, I'm not really a fan of, but the matcha business, I really, really like. It has a very chocolate-grown scent. 
<sighs> I cannot wait to burn this. Hey guys, so I am back from my OSCE exam. It went as well as I think it could. The first interview was super fine. I felt pretty good about the second one. Kind of threw me off guard. Well, no, it didn't throw me off guard. I just wasn't like prepared for it. And I think what I'm learning about myself that I may need more practice with is, is interviewing patients and providing support to patients who deal with very traumatic situations. So I need to work on that. And yeah, we'll see. I don't know when the grades for that or the score for that will be released, but hopefully I find out soon. So now this weekend is just going to be go time. It's going to be serious work just studying for this upcoming exam. And I hope I do well. I feel good about it, um, which I feel oddly calm about this exam, which I don't in the, usually. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to finish my Anki cards. I have like probably like 100 more to do, and then I'll be done for today. Actually, no, I wanted to try to do some, like, biochem. Okay, I may try to get some extra work done, then I'm going to cook dinner, and then I'm going to light my candles. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for a while. And I'm going to watch a Nigerian movie, and then I need to wake up early tomorrow so I can start my day early, and I can start studying and do what I need to do. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, hey, guys, so today is exam day. I just parked in the parking garage because the student parking was full. Uh, so I'm going to head out and I'll be back in like four to five hours. I just finished my exam and I think it went really well. Like I was going through the exam. I was like, this stuff is easy. I studied this. I know this. Yes. Um, but I don't want to be too overconfident because that's when the devil tries to kick in. So I think I did well. Hey guys, so I got my hair done. It's all flat ironed. I'll tell you that story later. Say hello to my friends. Hi. We are hello. doing a wine and sip. Oh, I said a wine and sip. and sip. We are doing a paint and sip. So we have all our little stuff and we're gonna watch our little thing. Left to right kind of brush stroke. Um, it really almost doesn't matter what type of brush stroke you're using in this early the bridge so. okay hey guys so i haven't been vlogging very well since the end of my exam my camera kind of died yesterday so that's why but i have my exam i think it went well i felt really good about it then we had our sip and paint which was fun i showed you guys us and our paintings and i'll post a picture of the final product we gave up on like two thirds towards it because we weren't actually done with the painting but we just all gave up. We were like, we've done more than enough. So we didn't, we just left it as it is. And this is my hair. I got it straightened and cut. I am natural. I don't perm my hair. So I'm just trying to go on this like healthy hair journey. At this moment, she knew medical school had officially snatched her edges. Ooh, I'm trying to go on this. Okay, so our edges are a little rough over here. I'm basically done with school for today, you guys. I've been doing such a good job. Ooh, my lips are ashy, hold on. I'm back with moisturized lips, but today was such a good day. I got so much done. We started a new block around musculoskeletal system. I was done studying for my exam like early Sunday, so I spent the rest of Sunday doing Tuesday's lectures. So then by Monday, I was already like caught up. So then today, which is Tuesday, I used it to like watch t 
tomorrow's lecture which is Wednesday and some I did two lectures from Thursday so I'm like kind of a day and a half ahead and I feel really good I'm super excited starting to take anatomy I'm kind of nervous about that because we'll see how it goes I'm gonna have a good mindset because when you have a good mindset you are destined to succeed I'm gonna cook and then I am going to watch TV for the rest of the night ah, we stand okay hey guys today's been a good day I had a research meeting with you know someone I potentially may be working with this summer because I'm looking for research opportunities and for those who don't know your first summer after first year is like the only summer vacation you get and you can either use it for research or other things and you don't have to do research I think it's something good to have and especially if you're considering especially if you're considering a competitive specialty I think it's good to get started on research early just to get your feet wet and as someone who I didn't have that much research experience in undergrad I had like one summer research in undergrad I definitely want to get my feet wet I'm trying to be out here in these streets so the ideal goal is to have a publication by the summer, but that also takes a long time, so that may not happen. We shall see. Um, and then I went to office hours today for one of my courses, and I was just talking with the doctor, and he was like, you know, if you're interested, we can set you up with some, like, research. And I was like, yes, sir, I I will send you a follow-up email right now. So, you know, it's good to have a, diff a couple different prospects because I do want to see all the different kind of things out there, and I really want to meet with different people and really get a feel for personality. Would I like this project? Would I be happy here all the summer? So I'm doing that. Your girl just got her exam score back and we already knew we killed it when we left the room. But like, I was like, go ahead. I think it's the highest score to date I've gotten on a medical school exam. And I do pretty well. I do pretty well on exams. So it's my highest score to date. Last exam, it was a struggle. It was a struggle score. It was passing, but it was a struggle score. It was a struggle passing score, um, in my opinion. I think it depends on who, if you, who you are. Some people are just aiming for 70. Some people are aiming for like 75 or above. It really do doesn't matter. But like, I was like high 70s the last time, and that was like the most struggle I've ever seen since coming to medical school. So this one went ugh. We, we just gotta thank God. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I think whenever I get these exam scores back then and I see I did well, it's really like a boost of energy for me of like, okay, what I'm doing is working. We gotta keep going. We gotta keep hustling. So I was feeling pretty put down about this new block with anatomy and stuff, but I think it revitalized my energy. So I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do what I need to do. Let's see what's on the plan for today. Okay. So right now I'm just working on some Anki cards and anatomy as we see. This is my schedule for today. I'm basically almost done. I had a research meeting, which I already told you guys about. And I'm just going to spend the rest of the day studying, getting my life together. I already planned my Saturday and what I'm going to study, how I'm going to study and everything. So I have, I have like a 12-hour study day waiting for me tomorrow, to be very honest with you. But it's okay. We gonna pull through because, because the goal is to match into the best residency possible. So the struggle and the hustle are equally, equally real. So that's what I have going on today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this vlog. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girls channel hit the notification bell so that you know every time i upload a video because it'd be such a shame if you missed out on a video that could have changed your life but didn't because you didn't put your notifications on so do that be sure to follow me on the instagrams at the pretty med underscore and comment below let me know something nice tell me what's going on in your life yes peace